Hey everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, I will walk you through the ultimate time tracking sheet uh, developed in Excel and Visual Basic application. So this tool is very uh, useful and robust in nature. It uh, it provides all the features which are required to do the time and motion analysis for any of the project, task, or team. Okay. Uh, so before using this tool, uh, let's understand how this structure, how this tool has been structured. So this tool or the solution is based on two different worksheet time sheet that is the first one and then the second one is the support sheet so in support sheet if you look at this we have a two different list where uh, first one is the project name and the second one is the task name and both the list have been used in time and motion sheet as a drop down so currently i have mentioned this project one to five and task one to four that is the generic name you can uh, and while using this tool you can mention your uh, name here i mean the actual project name and the actual task name once you are done done with the changes basically you, you can come to the time in motion sheet uh, that is a time sheet so this uh, this time sheet has been designed uh, with all the required features to make uh, it user friendly right so on top you can see that uh, we have a label which provides ultimate time tracking sheet version 1.0 and then the data labs logo on the uh, below that we have an input field for uh, name to capture the name of the employee so visual basic automatically captures the name but in case if you want to make the changes you can make it right on bottom we have provided three buttons like start so we hit uh, and then start break pause and then end so these three buttons you need to use that okay uh, i mean if you want to start the time in motion you just click on start it will start capturing in case if you want to pause or you are going on break just click on that start break and then again once you come from break or maybe you know if you want to restart this then you can click on that and if you want to stop any of the activity then you can click on end okay on right we have a summarized data where we provides like total hours spent total break pause and actual hours okay so this is summary overall summary based on the data which will be reflecting below okay on last uh, here reset tracker so if you want to reset the tracker entirely so you can click on that and it will reset the data or you can say delete the data from this tracker below we have a table where we need to provide all the information i mean like project name and task name click on start break and all this and it will start doing this so so here user needs to provide very you know minimal data basically like user needs to select this project name here i mean like say suppose i'm selecting the project name and then uh the what is the task name so i'm working on this task name okay these all these fields are not required that is automatically calculated or entered remarks in case if you want put the remarks okay so i have selected this project one task one let's click on start time once i will click on start time then you can see that it has captured the start time and i um, mean date with time right and start break pause and end both are enabled now so you have uh, both the options uh to enter the time and basically like uh, if you want to pause this activity this one task one then you can click on that and if you look at this this has been done okay and this has become red it means you, now you just need to uh, stop basically right so let me click on stop so once i click on stop it will change to start button and it will show how many i mean how much times we have i mean we have i mean i have been on break or maybe pause this activity okay again if i want to start and look at this stop right so this is how it will keep adding total break or pause time okay and then if i want to end this activity because i am done with this task one click on end it will capture this so total time i mean this this 50 second uh, 57 seconds how many seconds we were on i mean i was on pause or break that is 13 and total actual time i spent on this activity is 44 second okay again uh, if i want to i mean i need to capture the second time if i will click on that it will ask to select the uh, no project name so i need to select this so without selecting i can't start stop and end any of the activities so here i have already selected let's click on start now it will be disabled again if i have i want to go on break so click on stop break i will go on break or maybe do some activities then i will come back click on stop and then i will keep uh, i mean keep uh, doing all these activities which are required for task 2 and once this activity will be done i will click on add and basically like now it's done so this is how you can keep adding i mean uh, i mean the project name and task name and click on start you know and the date this automatically captured basically like 
like you can see that here i have not provided time and once i stop this activity right this one then it will auto uh, enter the date right then again i will select this this one let's see suppose this one start then like end so as soon as i will click on enter end it will end this activity and it will enter the date so that you do not need to enter the date here right so this is how you can do that okay so very simple and very powerful uh, time tracking sheet in case if you are interested you can go and download from the link provided in the description box please like subscribe and comment thanks for watching have a great day bye bye